sweet friends, and welcome back for another read aloud. Um, we're still sticking with eggs, but this time we're going to bring some bunnies into it. This book, whoops, not that one, this one, we're going to read this one first. This is called Bunny Trouble. Look at that bunny. What do you notice about those bags, that bag of eggs? Is there something in there that doesn't belong? I agree. What's a soccer ball doing in a basket of eggs? Let's find out. Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. Once there was a rabbit colony that was different from any other. The rabbits were in charge of decorating all the Easter eggs for the Easter Bunny to deliver. Everyone worked year round getting them ready. So look at all those bunnies decorating those eggs. It's a lot of work to decorate all the eggs for the Easter Bunny. Some of them are being kind of silly painting on each other. Everyone helped except Ralph. He cared for only one thing in the whole world. Soccer. There is Ralph. Kicking the soccer ball. Knocking the hat off the scarecrow. All Ralph wants to do is play soccer, not paint eggs. It worried his mother and father. Mm, yikes. What did Ralph do when he kicked the soccer ball? Do you see the lines up to the light and down? Look at their faces in the mirror. They're like, Ralph, you broke the light. It worried the other rabbits in the colony it worried his teachers at school where all the young rabbits went to learn egg decorating. Where was Ralph when everyone else was hard at work in the classroom? He was outside working on his fancy footwork. So if you know anything about soccer, you know there's lots of ways to kick the ball. So that's what he was outside doing instead of learning what he was supposed to be learning. So here, look right here. Do you see how the ball came from over here? and it smashed her tulips. And down here, it knocked the police officer's hat off. Yikes, don't wanna do that. And here, what did he do at the school? That's right, he broke the window. Look at everyone in there painting their eggs. But not Ralph, poor oh, Ralph. It worried his sister, Liza, especially when he ruined her birthday party. Liza loved Ralph more than anything else in the world, but she knew that one day he would get into trouble. He just didn't fit in. Now this picture is very busy. It shows all the places that the soccer ball went. Ralph kicked the ball and it went here. It hit his mom in the head. It came and smashed Liza's birthday cake. It hit a friend in the face. It came over here, hit her, his dad on the head up here and knock the birds out of the nest. Oh, Ralph. It's good to be interested in sports, but this is going a bit far, don't you think? Each year, as Easter approached, everyone got busier and busier. The chickens laid more eggs. The painters and the jelly bean makers and the basket stuffers all worked overtime. So look, See the chickens laying the eggs, collecting them in the baskets. They're out here getting the baskets ready. Uh-oh, what do you see in the background? Who's kicking that soccer ball? You said, Ralph, you're a good listener. Ralph was hard at work too, but he had a hard time keeping his mind on the job. Instead, he was thinking about place kicks and he tried just one. Oops, over went a full basket of eggs. The exhausted chickens groaned. Ugh. The rabbits shouted at Ralph, go play soccer on the other side of the tree so we can finish our work in peace, they said. Oh, Ralph, look at that. So he kicked the basket of eggs like a drop kick and the eggs went flying everywhere. <gasps> mm, they are mad at Ralph. They're like, you need to go way over there, way over there because you are just not letting us get our work done. 
Ralph was glad to go. He went off to play by himself on the other side of the forest. So look, he did go out. There goes a soccer ball through the moose's antlers, splashing the beaver and the frog. <gasps> it's about to hit a sleeping what? How do you think that bear's gonna feel? Mm, I agree, not happy. And look, he hit the little mouse on the head. And the mouse mommy is saying, don't hit my baby with the ball. Well, that night, Ralph did not come home. His mother wept and wrung her hands. Where could he be, she wondered. And with Easter two days away, she is worried about her little boy. Look, Liza is saying, hmm, where could that boy be? But if you didn't come home from playing, wouldn't your mom be worried about you? Your whole family would. Morning came. Still, Ralph had not come home. Liza slipped out to search for him. She found him not far away, locked up in a cage. A farmer had caught him while he was practicing his dribble in the cauliflower field. Hmm, should have been there. The coach always told us to look where we were going, not at our feet, Ralph joked sorrowfully. Don't worry, Liza told him. I'll go and get help. So look, do you see the little bunny hand? So there's Liza running to the cage, right? So he was playing out here when he got caught. And here he is in the cage, do you see the lock? And Liza's like, I'm gonna go get someone to help us. Now Ralph said, his soccer coach always said, look where you're going, not down at your feet. Is that what Ralph was doing when he got caught? No, he wasn't watching. He was looking at his feet, so the farmer grabbed him. Because when rabbits get in a garden, what do they usually do? You're right, they eat everything. And gardeners don't like that. So the gardener was like, you can't eat my stuff. Even though that's not what Ralph was doing, the farmer didn't know. She ran back past the busy rabbits, calling, Mama, Mama, we must save Ralph. The farmer has caught him, and he's going to make him into Easter dinner. Oh, I knew that bunny would get into trouble someday, wept Mama as she followed Liza to Ralph's cage. Soccer got him into this. How is he going to get out? Do you think his mama is going to be able to save him? Let's find out. It had thick bars and a heavy padlock. We'll never get him out of there, moaned her their mother when she saw Ralph inside. Of course we will, said Liza firmly. I think I can get that lock opened. Look at Ralph crying in the cage and his mom is crying. Liza is trying to be a problem solver. She's like, hmm, what can we do? Because Ralph is in quite the mess, isn't he? Liza worked for hours, but the lock refused to be picked. The bars wouldn't bend, and the door couldn't be pried off. If I ever get free, whispered Ralph, I promise I'll never play soccer again. That's a big promise to make. We know how much Ralph loves soccer. No, Ralph, said Liza, you want to be a soccer player, and you will be too, but you also have to help with the eggs. You can't just do what you want to do all the time. There are going to be times where you have to do other things, right? That's just part of growing up. And not be such a nuisance, added his mama. A nuisance is where you bother other people. Has he bothered the other rabbits that were working? Yes. Did he distract kids at school? Yes, that's being a nuisance. Ralph knew they were right. He promised to do what they said. Hours passed. Suddenly, Liza cried, oh, I've got an idea that will do the trick, but we have to hurry. So look, here's Liza. She tried a hammer. She tried a crowbar to bend the bars open, and she's trying to pry the door, but nothing works. That's a pretty strong cage he's stuck in. What do you think Liza's idea is to save her brother? If 
if you're sitting next to a friend, tell them. What is she going to do? How is she going to save him when these things have not worked? Did you tell the person next to you? If you don't have a friend next to you, you can always whisper it, hold it, shake it, and send it off to someone else. All right, let's see if your idea works. Liza and Mama ran all the way home. In no time, Liza was back carrying a small bundle under her arms. She squeezed it carefully through the bars of Ralph's cage. Then she whispered the plan to him. But we don't know what it is. The next morning, there was a great commotion around the cage. Commotion means there's a lot of noise and action happening. But other animals are going to look at Ralph's cage. Why? Why are they going there? Right? So here's Liza bringing the bundle to Ralph. And look, look at all the animals standing and they're probably talking to each other and making noises. I wonder what they see. What do you think they see in that cage? What was in that bundle that Liza gave her brother? Let's see. Inside it, next to Ralph, was a basket of the most beautiful Easter eggs anyone had ever seen. Some were polka dotted, some were dyed deep purple, and some were painted with rainbows. The farmer's children gathered around. He must be the Easter Bunny, they exclaimed in wonder. How else could he have gotten those eggs? We must let him go or there won't be any Easter for us. So the farmer opened the cage door. Ralph ran home as fast as he could. So look, do you see the beautiful eggs in Ralph's cage? Did Liza's plan work? The kids figured he was the Easter Bunny, so they better let him go right before Easter, right? So what saved Ralph? You're right, the eggs saved him. If Liza had not given them to him, if they had not been the bunnies that helped paint the eggs, he might have become Easter dinner. But Ralph didn't forget Liza's words. He did try harder with his painting. Ralph even became known for one special design which he did far better than anyone else, and almost as well as kicking, passing, and scoring. Look at the Easter eggs that Ralph paints. What do they look like? His favorite type of ball, right? Soccer ball. It makes sense that Ralph would be known for making soccer ball Easter eggs, and that is bunny trouble. Ralph really did get into some big trouble, didn't he? Thank goodness he has a smart sister that was able to get him out of that trouble. And hopefully Ralph learned a lesson as well. And next time, he will get his work done first and play after. I hope you enjoyed this, done, this story of Bunny Trouble. Find someone in your house who has never heard this story and tell them what happened to Ralph. How did he get caught in that cage? How did his sister get him out? And what lesson did Ralph learn? I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time, because guess what? There is more bunny trouble to come. See you next time. Bye!